What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 13.7, 13.5.1, 13.6 and 13.6.1. A kernel exploit has been released. So as you probably know the iOS 13.7 and so on are no longer signed at this point. So if you are already there that's actually quite good because you can take advantage of this new exploit that has been released. But if you're not there it's not possible to downgrade anymore. So just a couple of minutes ago Simo, a developer in our community posted quote here is a POC or proof of concept kernel exploit it demonstrates how to get kernel task port or TFP 0 on iOS 13.7 I will update the proof of concept with a write-up later and they posted the source code here and it's actually made out of two different vulnerabilities the CVE 2020 27905 and the CVE 2020 9964 one of them is this in here but there's no information posted for the moment on CVE so this is the vulnerability and it's actually quite good it's the full exploit available for 13.7 and lower though for jailbreak purposes they do mention something they said quote I don't recommend using it in your personal device or to use it for a jailbreak it may leave your device in an unstable state you have been warned so while it's possible to use this for uncovered to be updated it does require a little bit more work it's not exactly a very clean and it's not exactly a generic exploit that can be used for you know all the devices with no problem in fact Simo followed it up with this quote the exploit in arm 64 e which is basically the a12 and a13 devices is not quite reliable unlike the iPhone 9.3 which works 9 out of 10 times expect a lot of kernel panics it needs some work and it's hard to make such an exploit generic and working across all devices so yes this does work on a12 and a13 although with a much lower success rate than it would be on for example the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 6s or the iPhone SE and stuff like that so yes it's still good for a jailbreak it's still good for uncover it can still be used to update the uncover however it's not a very reliable exploit and it still needs a little bit more polishing and work before it can be used properly in a jailbreak without having to panic every single time we did have exploits in the past that were like this not exactly very very stable but that's not the fault of the developer they didn't create this for a jailbreak they created this for a bug bounty program or you know for an apple report and stuff like that it says here in the title proof of concept so it's not exactly a finished product but since it's open source any developer like the uncovered developer in here can take the exploit and polish it up and make it work properly for various devices what we needed a TFP0 kernel exploit is now out so that's all that matters now for the uncover we might get another exploit very very soon in fact at the next hack in the box conference I'm gonna talk about that in the next video so there might be more than one TFP0 kernel exploit for 13.7 and lower this is just one of them and it's still usable for a jailbreak is just not very very reliable though I assume it can be polished a little bit so that it works better but yes let's not forget the essential a TFP0 kernel exploit has been released for the 13.7 and lower even on a12 and a13 although with lower success rate on the a12 and a13 so yeah that's basically it I'm going to keep you updated what happens with this exploit and of course this is actually quite great because we're going to see things getting in motion at this point so yeah thank you for watching I am Gio Snow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out